So uh, I made this uh, connecting rod for a three and a half horse Briggs and Stratton lawnmower engine out of JB Weld. It's 100% uh, JB Weld. There's uh, nothing else in it at this point. I am using uh, steel bolts and a piston pin, but uh, other than that, the whole connecting rod is JB Weld. Take the end off it here. Show you there. So. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to live in the engine. It might only be a matter of seconds, but I'm going to give it a run here. Unfortunately, the, the light level is dropping, so I can't guarantee it's going to be a really well-lit video. But anyway, there's the connecting rod. I'll uh, show you the results if it uh, blows in half. Just when I was going to shut it down, I guess it shut itself down. So here's what's left of the JB Weld connecting rod. Just a pile of pieces in the bottom there. I'll pull them out and see what we got. It's like it just disintegrated. Oh, bent my bolt. big piece there. So it's like the connecting rod itself just broke right in half. This will pound the piston down there. End of it there. It's pretty well all broke off right at the center of the bolt. Center line of the bolt there. This one. Yep, that's where the rod broke. Obviously, that was a weak point, but anyway, uh, I was quite surprised there that it ran, uh, well, pushing a minute and a half. Uh, it, it had uh, two shorter runs before the main run uh, that I showed. Uh, I was having uh, carburetor problems there. Uh, I wanted it basically to idle and uh, it didn't want to start that way so I had to open the throttle up but then it close it. So the two little uh, 10 second runs, I, I didn't include them in the video. But uh, so overall running time was about a minute and a half before it, before it grenaded there. I was uh, rather surprised it even lasted that long, to be truthful with you. Uh, I didn't think the old JB Weld was quite up to that on a connecting rod, but with a little bit of redesign there, I, I think I could uh, get it to last uh, somewhat longer. So I may go for a second one. I don't know. Uh, encouraging comments would help, I guess, before I dump another five bucks into a JB Weld connecting rod and three or four hours of work. Anyway, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for uh, watching these videos. Uh, oh yeah, uh, before I'm done here, I can't forget, uh, I want to thank uh, Leading Edge Hobbies in uh, Kingston, Ontario. My uh, smooth-on uh, 
silicone mold material uh, dried up unexpectedly and uh, they uh, were nice guys and they they uh, gave me uh, a new container kind of an unwritten warranty they didn't have to do that and I uh, I want to thank them for that or uh, it would have been another week or so before I could make this video but uh, thanks again uh, to Leading Edge Hobbies and thanks to all you that watch these videos uh, I know this type of thing isn't practical for any uh, use other than experimentation but uh, I like to experiment with things, so I appreciate uh, your uh, interest in these videos. Everybody uh, take care and have a good one. So here's the JB Weld connecting rod installed in the engine. I uh, had some clearancing issues there, as you can see down in here. I had to basically grind a hole through the side of the block uh, due to the the nuts I put on. I didn't think it would work very well with just uh, drilling and tapping the JB weld, which I did anyways, but I wanted a nut on the end of the connecting rod bolt. So, same thing on the other one. But she's an extremely tight fit on this engine. As you can see there, the, the nut actually goes right through the side of the engine block. So I had to band-aid it up with JB weld and Put a little silicone seal on it also to, to help it to seal the oil in for the short run that it's going to have. But uh, anyway, it's a little bit snug. But I'll show you that uh, that's the JB Weld uh, connecting rod before the, the run. Like I say, I have no idea how long it's going to last, but I'm going to try it here soon. <laughs>